yeah the title is a simple a magnetic leakage calculations peoples uh, we already know about this thing uh, a leakage flux we cover this content in the very first title of electrical machines one in a formation of electromagnet it is a generalized uh, concept the flux will not follow their path is nothing but and it should be considered as leakage fluxes so here the thing is we cannot make all the fluxes as a useful flux maybe a possibilities of leakage is appeared uh, because of some uh, process which means of a uh, damages in the core or a not proper designing of the core or else a structure of the core is not in a uh, predicted way based on this content we cannot able to use the entire production fluxes as a useful flux as some of the values are there that will be considered as a leakage now what happened the leakage has been appeared in the core means that leakage will circulate and cut uh, some other part and forms an induced emf so hence it is called as that generally no no it is a emf is not but a voltage that is nothing but a leakage reactance voltage so this is the conclusion so leakage reactance of a polyphase machine is declared by a two things which means of a first one is nothing but inductance is a flux linkage of winding divided by a current the expression should be def defined by l is equal to t phi by i at the same time reactance everyone know about this thing l is equal to 2 pi f l so the thing is now we're going to uh, deals on magnetic leakages on this consideration we have to go for two domain first one is nothing but case one here the title is two slot of each face under one pole which means a pole having two slots some of the descriptions a ws is defined by width of the slot h is nothing but depth of the conductor z as each slot contain a conductor na uh, that means a conductor in a slot is nothing but z as then two z as conductors of each face with this description this is the diagrammatic visualization of two slot of each face under one pole see the diagram peoples it is a one pole in one pole uh, one pole is formed by a uh, two slots uh, with the certain uh, data see the diagram w is is not a uh, two w is there a uh, two slot with with values then uh, h is there which means of two slots are uh, height depth or uh, depth is there then nothing but z s which is nothing but a slot conductors then two z s is nothing but in a phase a uh, two z s values is there now so with this content uh, one more data is there which is nothing but lambda that is a specific permeance of the each slot what is permeance uh, inverse of reluctance that here it is declared as lambda in previous titles we consider this as a p now it is lambda so lambda s1 lambda suffix s1 is nothing but mu naught has divided by 3 w is the value of specific permeance of the each slot now the declaration is a leakage flux of the two slots is connected in a series then the resultant specific permeance here the two slots are, slots are there now so the resultant value is you have to multiply you have to divide this thing by 2 so the value should be lambda 1 is equal to lambda s1 divided by 2 so the final data mu naught h divided by 6 into ws this is the specific permeance value of your phase which having two slots is considered as lambda 1 now go with the next consideration a second case is nothing but the same phase which is found by one slot so this is the diagram for that content a only slot will form a phase here so it has the same thing a height should be declared as 2h and a width is declared as ws and slot conductors is declared as z as 
which is declaration two ZS conductors are occupied in a one slot and the height will be declared as two H. A specific permeance is defined as lambda suffix S2. Now it is declared with mu naught and uh, two uh, H divided by three WS. So here this is the thing, the resultant value, the only one is there. So no need to divide by two. So the direct equation should be related with lambda two. So from this case, we can calculate the two area, two uh, conditions. One is nothing but lambda one, which is a pole or phase by a uh, two slots. A second case is nothing but a phase which is formed by a one slot which is lambda 1 and lambda 2. Now we are going to divide these two things and find the resultant value. So go with the next one. This is the thing the ratio we are going to calculate about this thing. So we need to uh, we need to calculate about the ratios of these two, two things. Here it is a mistake. It is divided by lambda 2 divided by lambda 1 which means of one slot per pole per phase to a specific permeance of two slot per pole per phase. One slot per pole per phase is defined as lambda two. Uh, two slot per pole per phase is defined as lambda one. Hence, uh, here it is a mistake. So correct that lambda two divided by lambda one is equal to a, a same equation. Then by making the simplification, everything has been cancelled. The final value becomes four. So the equation should be lambda 2 divided by lambda 1 is equal to 4. From this, this is the content. The leakage reactance is directly proportional to the specific slot leakage reactance. From that, this is the conclusion of this title, which means of your slot leakage reactance with one slot per pole per phase is the four times of slot per pole per phase with the two values. So this is the thing by this content. We go for the general cases. <clears throat> the general case means in this area we discuss about the basic thing um, on this aspect. Go for the second content, a slot of the phase with one pole. In this content, the first one is nothing but a conductor producing a leakage fluxes is determined by conductor per slot multiply of slot per pole per phase. So here the conductor per slot is defined by ZS and slot per pole per phase is defined by Q. Uh, in previous title in missions to the term slot per pole per phase is defined by small m. I remain this thing. Here it is declared as a Q. So don't confuse in that content. So that leakage flux produced by a conductor is nothing but ZS into Q. <coughs> So after that, a reactance value x, here the x has been defined by 2 pi f t square l and lambda. All these things are the same thing. So here we need to calculate about the parameters. So t square, which is nothing but conductor of the phase under one pole, a one pole conductor's value that is t, uh, it is declared by ZS into Q. ZS is slot conductors, then Q is nothing but slot per pole per phase. By multiplying of this thing, a t square value has been found. Then a lambda is nothing but permeance. It is declared by lambda s by q. So now I I have a two equations. I need to substitute these two equations here and finding this uh, slot leakage reactance of a conductor under one pole. Uh, after substituting, I got this equation here in this. Uh, Q values are there, it will be get cancelled and the equation should be on this scenario x equal to 2 pi f z square Q L and lambda square. Then with this content, I am going to substitute uh, one more data is there. Uh, this equation should be multiplied by a P which is nothing but poles to find the pole per phase. So for that, uh, this content should be uh, multiplied by a P. Then <coughs> Uh, a compressed division of this excess value then you know about ZS the ZS equation should be a 2 TS divided by P into Q with this, after substituting this equation the equation should be on this form now we're going to simplify some data um, here the PQ PQ get cancelled uh, but here uh, the denominator PQ should be um, a square value so uh, one more PQ is there that's all for that. 
uh, in the square in the bracket we have a 2 uh, it will be squared it will become 4 when I come bring it out of the square it will become 8 so the equation should be on this fact which means of 8 by f uh, t square is there as the same then l is there the same then lambda is then uh, one more p and q is there not so it should be an inverse so 1 by q p <coughs> This is the simplified content of this title. Then af after this thing, this is the final one for the stator progress. Now we are going to declare the same thing for the rotor, rotor part. Uh, the rotor part with refer to the stator. On this declaration, we know this thing. Now it is notified by dash. So lambda sr. Uh, here the um, <coughs> sr. This, the lambda is something but the same thing. Permeance of the rotor. Here it is declared, uh, I think so here the mistake, it is defined by lambda sr dash. Lambda sr dash is equal to kws divided by kwr is nothing but uh, window space factor for the stator as well as rotor. And the sr divided by s, I mean ss divided by sr is nothing but slots. Then lambda sr is nothing but uh, specific slot permeance of the rotor. So this is the content. Uh, we have to uh, here here it also a mistake man so please note it down uh, the equation should be as lambda s or dash is equal to kws divided by kw or whole square into ss divided by s or into lambda s or that lambda s or is nothing but specific slot permeance of the rotor then with this continuation we have uh, many uh, equations to finding the uh, reluctance for a different aspect for overhanging leakage reactance per phase. This is the equation for finding that thing uh, that is noted as x naught as well as a second thing uh, zigzag leakage reactance per phase is calculated by this equation. Here it should be a mistake. It is not a x naught x z then a third one is nothing but tooth top leakage reactance per phase it is defined by x1 then the same equation is there then a harmonic leakage reactance per phase it is defined by x h so these all the things are different aspect different cases of leakage reactance uh, all the content is not considered in a single content uh, for the requirement we have to use the thing so the total leakage reactance of the machine should be calculated by clubbing all this thing here the xs is nothing but total leakage reactance there is nothing but the summation of five things what is the five things is ss is nothing but stator slot reactance yes sr dash is nothing but stator sorry it's a rotor slot reactance refer to stator for that only a dash is there then x naught is nothing but overhanging leakage reactance then xz is nothing but uh, zigzag leakage then xh is nothing but harmonics leakage by calculating all this thing we can finding the total leakage reactance of the machine on refer to stator side